CataractCoach.com. First year in practice. This is excellent skill level for the first year of private practice. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Jason P. Ludlow from West Virginia, USA. So here's his routine stop and chop case. So it's his first year in private practice. That means he's completed medical school, an internship, as well as a residency, perhaps a fellowship. So after all those years of training, he's ready to go out there in the real world and do his private practice. So let's watch his case. Looks like a paracentesis, injecting anesthetic inside the eye and on the cornea. And in that red reflex, you can see there's a posterior vitreous detachment. Good placement of dispersive viscoelastic, nice wave coating the endothelium. And now fixating the eye with the 0.12 forceps, nice looking incision. So good tunnel length, good architecture. I like how the incisions are barely nicking the limbo vessels. That looks great. Time for the capsular rexus. When you're starting off, this is one of the most challenging parts of the surgery. And as you get more and more experience, this becomes one of the most fun parts of the surgery. The amount of satisfaction you get is, is amazing. So let's see, his rexus looks really nice. Good technique, pivoting in the incision, keeping the flap turned over and continuing it. That's a beautiful rexus, fantastic. About five millimeters looks like. So let's see the hydrodissection here. So using a specialized cannula here, going to the left side first, there's a good fluid wave coming to the right, another good wave, and that looks pretty good. And remember, you wanna get this thing spinning. If it does not spin, you will not win. And let's see, it looks pretty good, I like it. So here comes a phaco probe. Ooh, a little more dispersive viscoelastic. I like that technique. Just a dollop right there in the center. And here comes the phaco probe, adjusting this tip, the sleeve. That's actually a very important step. Your technician may not be able to do that for you, especially if he or she is presbyopic. So cleaning up some of the anterior cortical material here. And here comes the groove. Notice how the light reflexes stay in the center of the eye here. That's great pivoting. And look how few strokes it took. Three or four strokes, that's enough. Nucus is now split. This is very efficient, very minimal use of energy here. So now chopper being placed around the equator of the lens and chopping it into quarters. Very nice technique. That looks great. Pushing that first piece down the port. Here comes the second quadrant and he's making short work of this. That looks fantastic. Again, notice how the eye stays in primary. Notice how the draping is good. All the lashes are out of the way. Notice how the focus is good. The whole case is in focus. And again, another chop, taking out the last two quadrants of the nucleus. Very good control. No bounce in the anterior chamber. Great stability. And the eye stays in primary. Clearly, he has really put in the effort to make his surgical skills top notch. So for the first year in practice, I'm very much impressed. I would have guessed this person's been in practice at least five, maybe even 10 years. Now, time for cortex removal. Let's see what we do here. Coaxial cortex removal. I frequently do that technique as well. Nice technique going circumferential to grab sufficient degrees of cortex prior to stripping it centrally. And again, to the other side. That looks great. Cleaning this up. And now here, that subincisional area is one time where the eye may go slightly out of primary. Polishing up the capsular bag. That looks really beautiful. Very nice result here. Can't hardly wait to see what lens we put in. So we're going to, let's see, filling the eye with the cohesive viscoelastic. And by the way, this is the first time I'm watching the video also. So it's a fresh view from me. Here comes the lens, single piece acrylic. Going in the eye. That looks great. Technician did a good job of loading the lens, and it's in good position. I like the moving of the lens to the haptics at 12 and 6, and that allows easier access right here to get under the lens. If you're an advanced surgeon, you need to be able to go behind the eye well to remove that viscoelastic. Remember, particularly if you're going to do a toric lens or you're going to do a presbyopic lens where you have to really center it. You don't want that lens to slip around. You want the lens to be in direct contact with the poster capsule. So cleaning out all that viscoelastic, that looks great. Beautiful overlap of the optic by that capsorexis, sealing up the incision here, a little bit off our field. And that looks fantastic. What a beautiful case. Checking the incisions, looks good to go. Good pressure. Fantastic job. So thank you, Dr. Ludlow. I really appreciate it. 
You're doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?